Hello, guys. Uh, today we're going to talk about data upsets. Uh, so first, the challenge of data upsets in OLAP. Uh, sitting on top of columnar files, which is optimized for, uh, for OLAP query performance. Real-time data upsets and deletes is actually still a very hard problem for OLAP system to solve. Right? Uh, so current solutions are far from perfect. Some of them are kind of read-optimized formats, such as copy on write, where you would rewrite the entire uh, in, entire file if there's one record change. And this is not really real-time, uh, but it's, it's good for performance, but it's not real-time. It's even very challenging to get low minutes of data freshness with these kind of methods. And the second one is exactly opposite, a write-optimized format, such as merge on read, where you would write your data files, write your data into multiple versions, and merge them during query execution or in a background uh, compaction job. Right? This is great for uh, data freshness, but it heavily affects query performance because the merge operation is extremely expensive. Um, not only it makes the, the query performance slow, it also makes it unstable, right? unpredictable, which is really bad for uh, production systems. And one strategy that has been proven to work is the new delete and insert strategy. What it does is that it splits all of the update or upsert tasks into a delete and an insert. Right. So on the for the image on the right, you can see that all of the grays, all the deletes, and all of the oranges, the orange is uh, the insert. So you would first do a mark delete on a kind of like a like a bitmap, uh, delete bit bitmap, uh, right? Uh, so you can filter those uh, deleted uh, records at query execution time, right? And also uh, insert uh, the rest. Uh, of all of the inserts, they go into a separate, a new file, a new data file, right? And this mark delete process can be pretty expensive as well. So typically there would be a primary key index that, that is implemented to accelerate this mark delete process, right? The pr primary key index would store, would map um, your primary key, the hash of your primary key to where Ever that record is stored on your storage, right? So makes the mark delete cheap and efficient. So because there is no merge operation uh, in this whole process, so you get the best possible uncompromised query performance with this, right? And also you can get second level data upsets directly, you know, on your columnar storage. It's because uh, the mark delete process is very efficient. And when compared to a solution that requires a low oriented index or storage to do real time upsets, it requires only a fraction of the storage because everything still is stored in a columnar format, which is great for data compression, great compression ratio, right? And there is one real world example from Airbnb. Um, Airbnb's fraud detection um, uh, scenario. To protect their user and their platform's interest, um, Airbnb's data scientists, they have to detect uh, those violations, those fraudulent activities um, to reduce potential losses and also to protect their brand. And this is a very difficult problem to solve for the following reasons. So first, it has to be real time. They have to catch those violations uh, fast enough, right, uh, before it happens. So a second level data freshness is required. And also they have to support mutable data because just because of the kind of data they're dealing with, right? Just for example, Airbnb status or their, so their hotel status and their transactions and you know all of them are mutable. They have to support that. And also they, they want really good query performance on very complex kind of ad hoc like queries. Uh, actually, second level latency. This paired with you know data freshness uh, requirements are you know they have to detect those violations in time, right? Um, before they actually happen. And this is their solution uh, based on the delete and insert strategy, right? They're actually using Starrox primary key table. Starrox primary key table is the f initiator of this kind of strategy. Now being adopted by many other systems too. 
right? Uh, so they stream the data from Kafka into Starrock's primary key table, right? Immediately, they get second level data freshes on their mutable data, right? And also because this strategy does not actually affect query performance, so they can maintain a very high query performance with, you know, um, a lot of high cardinality aggregations and a lot of joins, right? So it ensures timely identification of those fraudulent activities. And this is all I have. And now is actually the time to embrace mutable data. You don't really have to run away from uh, real-time analytics just because you know you have mutable data. And you can check out Starox, you know, the initiator of this uh, delete and insert strategy, right? Join the Slack channel check it out on GitHub. And also there is a cloud managed version of Starrise, it's called Seller Data Cloud. And you can register for Seller Data Cloud on, and get your 30 day free trial, right? And thank you. Uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys again next time.